Hello, this is Al Al1234 here, and today I will be showing you how to get all the daily legendary creatures. So they are Cthulhu on Monday, the Unicorn on Tuesday, the Kraken on Wednesday, and Yeti on Thursday. They are all going to be better quality, I will be showing you how to get them all. And they will be better quality than the, my other legendary videos that I made on them individually, because I will be showing you how to... Like, not just the steps, but I'll show you how to do every single thing and then I will actually pick up the creature in the zone as I unlock it. So before uh, we start, for Cthulhu you're going to need to have a octopus, crab, gecko and dolphin in your inventory. And for the yeti you're going to need to have a shiny ladybug. And to unlock the ladybird, you're going to or ladybug, you're going to need to go to the shop, then redeem codes, and then you're gonna to have to type in 500k visits, and that will give you the ladybird. But it has to be a shiny one. So there's, I believe, one in 30 chance of it spawning shiny, or you can buy the magic wand for 49 robux and make it automatically shiny. So on to Cthulhu. So this will be the only legendary that I will be dubbing over as I've sped up the footage. So you're going to need to go to Mariana Trench Zone and you're going to go to this cave under the water and you're going to need to put the animals in in this order. Octopus, Gecko, Crab and Dolphin. If you put it into the machine it will then give Cthulhu into your backpack. So the second legendary creature is unlocked on a Tuesday and that is the Unicorn. The unicorn, you have to do some parkour and then decipher its code, say it in the chat, and then you will be able to pick it up. I'm not sure if it's bugged because it felt like every time I was to say the thing, say the code in the chat, it wouldn't unlock it, unlock it me for some reason. Right, so that is the code, and I will put on the screen right now what the deciphering technique is but do remember i forgot to mention this that the code is randomized so you won't get the same code as me so be sure to look at this graph the code seems to be d m f c c i'm not sure if i have to do full caps Yes, you have to do full caps to then unlock the unicorn. In Tropical Sand Zone, on a Wednesday, you'll be able to unlock the Kraken. To be able to unlock the Kraken, if on the server the bottle is not there, that means someone's already taken it. So then you need to try and find a server where someone's not taken the bottle. So you'll find a bottle right here, and you'll be able to click on it. It will give you this iPad and it will direct you over here. So you'll be brought to a, another island, which is, I believe, the other part of the map, the other half of me. And you'll be taken to this lump here of sand. If you tap it, you'll lose the iPad and then on your screen it will say you have unlocked the Kraken. So finally the last legendary creature which is the Yeti you can get on Thursday. I'd recommend you have a pet with cold resistance or you can just spam jump so you can't you don't take damage. You're going to need to collect 22 lights to light up that tree and I believe if you double jump when you're collecting a light it will give you double the lights so Here's one box, so it should give me one light, but if I do this, it should give me, uh, it normally gives you double, sometimes it doesn't, it's depending on your timing. Um, you have to change the clock to 9 o'clock, so you do have to light up the tree twice, I believe. It can be very tedious sometimes, but I'll time lapse this part. Okay, then just collecting the last box, tap one of the presents, so empty, 
then you'll be able to pick up the presents. You need to pick up all the presents and then head to the red house. There is something that could go wrong or annoy someone with my technique, which is that you, if you were to die from the cold, you would lose all the lights you were carrying at that moment. So I'd recommend, if you're prone to falling off and while you're jumping, I'd recommend you, every like five lights, you tap the tree. And you have to be careful on private servers, uh, not private servers, sorry, Pu public servers, after you've done what I'm about what I'm about to do and the Yeti is out, some other person could take your Yeti, so you have to be careful. Right, I will have to light up the tree again to get I believe the very last present that I need. So I'm here now. I'll tap the clock until Oh, actually, so it is at 8 o'clock now. I just need one more present, but that does mean I do have to collect another 22 lights to then light up the tree and then pick up one present. I did deliver the presents now because I didn't want to accidentally die. So I'm back at the tree. I can now collect one present. I'd recommend only collecting one present because that's the only extra one you'll need. If you were to collect two presents and accidentally tap the clock twice... You'd have to collect president, not president, sorry. You'd need to collect another 44 lights to get more presents. That would be really annoying. So, change the clock to 9 o'clock. And do you remember at the beginning of the video when I said you're going to need to have a shiny ladybug? This is when, it's going, when you're going to need it. The Yeti will be outside at nine o'clock because it likes outdoors at nine o'clock and you're going to need to tap the yeti not holding the the ladybug though once you tap the yeti i want to have us have sparkles right shiny sparks oh my shiny sparks not spark, sorry. And then you'll unlock the Yeti. So guys, I really hope this was useful. It did take me a whole week to record all the content for this video. So if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. That would really be appreciated. And I do have a group now. So link in the description. Hopefully you can all now get all the daily legendaries. And guys, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.